Some of you may have noticed that Shakur Stevenson was adopting a bit of a Shannon Briggs, let's go champ type of a marketing strategy to try and land himself the Devin Haney fight. He walked into the ring and as you can see by the picture on screen, he kind of eyeballed him while he's in the ring. Obviously Devin Haney's got bigger things to f concentrate on at the time. I don't know if you noticed or what, but he was just basically appearing out of nowhere. Then a few hours later at the after party, apparently he sent like some ring card girls over or some hostesses over or whatever note saying make the fight or something to Devin Haney. I'm not sure what the exact uh, circumstances were there, but essentially Shakur Stevenson made a point to get Devin Haney's attention regarding their fight. And essentially, you know, he's, he's doing the Shannon Briggs on him. He's appearing where he is. He's trying to get some publicity around the fight. So you would think after all of that, if Devin Haney were to turn around and offer him a chance at a fight and the chance to become undisputed, at 135 pound you would think that he would jump at the chance to do that and bite his hand off no matter what the purse was being offered but it turns out that's not the case now i don't know if this offer has been officially made but i know it's been spoken of i'm guessing it's got back to shakur stevenson that the, the amount they're looking to offer him for that fight is 25 percent and for some reason he thinks he's above 25 percent and i can't work out why especially when you want the fight you've been saying you want the fight you've been chasing the guy around why not take the fight if you wait for your mandatory to be called it's only going to be in the region of 25 to 35 percent anyway probably going to be low end because Devin Haney's been earning a lot more than Shakur Stevenson so I'd say it's going to be 25% anyway the only difference is with the mandatory is you have to wait and anything can happen by then Devin Haney might vacate your belt he might fight someone else he might get injured the belt's might fragment who knows this is your chance for a semi-decent money fight I say semi-decent Devin Haney's undisputed he's got a little bit of a following I mean people are starting to catch on to him now like he's got a bit of a cult following out there in the states i mean people might deny that or whatever but i see what i see and he's building a little bit of a fan base and he's way bigger name than Shakur stevenson is like it's not even close some people know Shakur stevenson because they watch the espn boxing or whatever other people remember him from the uh the l that he took in the olympics where he started crying and he's looked like online now to be honest with you he's taking another l from the fans and who knows how he's going to react to that the thing is with this right people can't even say that devin haney's lowballing him or whatever anything like that because devin haney himself right he was with eddie hearn and that and he was offered a deal it was a free fight deal i think the first two fights if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong here but i think it was 80 20 split in Cambosis' favour. If I'm not mistaken, the re rematch as well was heavily in Cambosis' favour. I don't know if it was still 80 20 or whatever, but Devin Haney definitely took the lower part of the pie in both fights to get where he needed to go to get his hands on them titles and even then when he was fighting Lomachenko or um, negotiating the Lomachenko fight he wasn't even the A-side in that. I think when it, the dust settled he did take home a million dollars more um, on their guaranteed purse. I think one was four million, one was three million, but the, t the fight happened when Lomachenko wanted to happen and not when Devin Haney wanted it to happen because Devin Haney wanted it to happen um, before Ramadan but the fight happened after Ramadan so if Devin Haney had to say as the A side I'm sure it would have been before Ramadan but obviously he didn't have that pull then but now he's basically a free agent he's won undisputed he's beaten Lomachenko and in my opinion he's given Shakur Stevenson a very fair offer to have a fight at 25 percent I say I don't know who's making the offer it might be the zone and it might be top rank I'm not too sure actually to be fair I will correct myself there a little bit no offers officially been made as of I don't know an hour ago or whatever when I saw the tweets but Shakur Stevenson said in a tweet that 25% was spoken about but they haven't officially sent the, over yet, the offer over yet so he hasn't officially said no to any offers because he hasn't received one but the tweet he put out after finding out that they were intending to offer him 25% got his back up and he was basically nah bro this is too too little I'm worth more than that or whatever I mean I don't see it at all a lot of people are really high on Shakur Stevenson I think if you're a pure boxing fan like a hardcore I can see why but in terms of the casuals he's going to do nothing to get the casual eyes on him like he's not exciting that way so the only way he's going to build this profile is if he starts taking souls and if he could go there and beat Devin Haney in an undisputed fight I know Devin Haney's not a massive profile but it will still give Shakur Stevenson a, a little bit of a boost because he's not a big fish at all you know what I mean arguably he's a little goldfish compared to the bigger fish in, in boxing I mean he's got the skill he's got the talent he just doesn't have the profile and the only way he's going to build the profile is to take fights like this and leech a bit of the other person's profile every time he beats them if he's kicking up a fuss for 25 percent and a shot undisputed i don't know where his head's at to be honest with you because it's not going to get much better than that some people are trying to say that he can get up to 45 percent if they go the mandatory route that's only for an interim champion 
Um, and that doesn't even work. If you guys remember the Dillian White route, he, he thought he was going to get 45% against Tyson Fury, end up taking on 70.5% or whatever it was. So even if he did get himself into an interim title type of position, they're, they're going to basically refer to the purses that the, the two fighters have been getting previously. And I'm pretty certain that Devin Haney would be earning a lot more than Shakur Stevenson. So it may well work out that he ends up getting less than 25%. If I was him, I would take the bird in the hand. These guys obviously want to make a fight or they're exploring the idea for it. And him going on social media saying that's not enough, it, he hasn't done himself any favours. Because it makes people think you're insincere for wanting that fight. Because we all saw what Devin had to do to, to go and get them titles. So if he's offering you 25% for a chance to win them titles, I think that's more than fair. I think Shakur Stevenson needs to take it or it's going to be a massive L and history won't lie. That's what I got for this one, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.